If you're looking to start a business in the new year at no cost, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm gonna give you seven free business ideas, three low cost honorable mentions, and then a few things about websites and branding that's just good for you to know about. So welcome to Andrew Finance. I'm Andrew and here's the finance. All right, so the first business idea is dog walking. And before you click away from the video saying that everybody talks about dog walking, hear me out because you don't need to go door to door for this one to work. There are apps that are specifically made for this like Rover, Wag, and Barkley Park. These apps make it super easy to sign up and then you're able to start walking dogs as soon as you join. Additionally, with these, you can even stack trips and take two or even three dogs out at the same time, thus effectively doubling or tripling your income with no extra time commitment to you. However, these apps do usually take a cut of the profit, something around 10 to 20%. So if you want to start your own dog walking business without any kind of help from an app, you're going to need to make and print flyers. There's lots of good free services that'll help you do this, and I'll show you how at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around for that. The second idea is kind of similar to the first, and it's pet waste management. No one wants to deal with cleaning up after their pets, but unfortunately, people with lots of pets or maybe large yards don't really have a choice. And this is where you come in. Offer to come by once a week with some free bags from Walmart and clean up their pet waste. You can offer to be paid weekly or if you like you can give them a discounted monthly rate which ensures that you get their business over a longer period of time. In the United States, almost every house has a number, but those numbers aren't always easily visible. This can make the house harder to find. And again, this is where you come in. Go around putting flyers on doors or talking to people in person, offering to paint their house numbers on the curb. You can explain that it makes it easier to find their house in instances such as getting mail, package delivery, or if an ambulance needs to find their house in the case of an emergency. When you get your first customers, just cut the house numbers out of some cardboard, spray paint it, and then you're good to go. With how fast this can be done, you can probably get several orders done in a day, thus increasing your profits. Before we go on to the next one, if you're enjoying this, please give it a like, and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Go around offering to cut grass, trim hedges, do yard work, or anything else that people might have need for. Usually, the customer will let you use their machinery for this, which keeps your profits at 100 and your costs at zero. Errand running works best in communities that have a larger older population where the people might not have the ability or maybe the energy to go around and do a lot of their own stuff. You can offer to do things like pick up their mail, pick up their groceries, pick up their dry cleaning or anything else that involves going out and about when they might not have the ability to do that. This can also be done with a service like TaskRab. This is a website where people post for immediate help with everyday jobs. All you have to do is sign up, accept jobs, complete the jobs, and then you get paid. Some highly ranked or featured taskers can charge dozens of dollars per hour for their services. And remember, like with some of the previous ones, things like groceries or dry cleaning pickup are stuff that people need regularly, so consider offering discounted monthly rates if they continue to use your services. This one does require an interview process and sometimes a college degree, but it doesn't always require you to actually know a second language. Services like Schooly or VIP Kid will pay up to $22 an hour for fluent English speakers to speak to non-native speakers and help them improve. There's no cost to you in this business outside of a computer and internet, and you're able to make as much as you're willing to work, which makes it ideal for planning around other things you might have going on in your life. Before we go on to the last one, don't forget that there's going to be three super low cost honorable mentions at the end of this video, along with some help on branding and websites that you might want to know. Before you think you need an entire house to make Airbnb work, you can actually do it with a single bedroom. When I moved after college, I couldn't find an apartment, so I rented a single bedroom from a homeowner off Airbnb, and we just lived together for the first month until I was able to find and move into an apartment. Well, you definitely can make more money if you have more rooms or more houses. It's easy to start with just one room, bring in some money, and then use that to invest in more real estate later down the line. And now we have our low-cost honorable mentions, and the first one is moving. This one can be a little dicey depending on where you live, as some states do require moving licenses and moving insurance. But you're probably okay Okay, doing a few smaller jobs and just posting ads for it on Craigslist. And if you don't have a moving truck, don't worry. Places like Home Depot offer low priced truck rentals, or if you want, you can get an app like Turo and rent from someone locally. I left ride sharing and meal delivering in honorable mentions because it does require you to have a car before you get started. However, if you do have a car, it's pretty easy to just sign up with Uber Eats, Lyft, or one of the other ride sharing or meal delivery apps. If you do decide to ride share, then make sure to download an app like MileIQ, which will track your miles and it'll tell you how much money you can write off on your taxes as a business expense at the end of the year. Not only will this save you a lot of money, but it also saves you from having to track those kinds of things yourself. House cleaning is pretty simple as well. Not to say that it's easy, and there's definitely a benefit to working for a house cleaner before you set out on your own, but once you know how to do it, every job is pretty much the same in that you go in, you clean, you get paid, and you leave. This one is nice if you're a solo entrepreneur because your only costs associated with it will be travel and cleaning supplies. And the cleaning supplies you can buy in bulk at places like Sam's or Costco, and that keeps your costs down. Now that you have your business idea ready, you need some way to advertise it. Facebook advertising is pretty simple to learn, and everything you need to know is free on YouTube. There's lots of videos that'll walk you through how to set up your first ads 
and you can get started acquiring customers for as little as $5 per day. Going door to door is also a great way to get your first few customers. And if you're in a community that knows who you are and so you have a good reputation, then word of mouth should spread pretty quickly. And if you don't want to talk to people directly, that's okay too. Canva is a free service that allows you to create great professional looking posters, which you can print off and put on people's mailboxes or tape to people's doors. Finally, it is best to have some kind of a website. It's pretty cheap to host one, but if you are bent on spending no money at all, then places like Wix or Weebly will give you a subdomain of their website that you can use as your own. It'll look something like yourbusiness.wix.com, and while it doesn't look amazing, it's certainly better than having nothing at all. Whether you loved or hated these ideas, I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments, and I hope that you have a very productive day.